Good afternoon guys and happy Mother's Day to all the mothers and mothers to be. So um, I just closed from my school which is located at Senegalia and thought you know like instead of just sitting down doing nothing, absolutely nothing, I want to just show you guys around Senegalia. Senegalia is actually a large city and now that I think about it, it kind of has a dual identity. It is a um, modern city and at the same time it's also this um, historic and touristic center. You know what that means? It means a lot of people, you know, travel from far and near just to visit Senegalia. And this is the more reason why you cannot afford to miss this video. So grab your favorite drink, sit on that favorite couch of yours, and relax. Because I'm about to take you on a free tour. So guys, the first place I'm gonna show you is the Roca Reveresca, which was um, built in the late 16th century after the Roman colonization. So the Romans felt, well, we have to protect um, Senegalia from intruders coming from the sea and blah blah blah. Yeah. So um, based on it was um, built during the late 16th century. That was during the Renascimento period. Renascimento should be Renaissance in English. It was built during the Renaissance period, and if you know, the Renaissance period is like a rebirth. It was the age whereby the economy, the culture, literature, art, and other stuff began to boom, like you know, <laughs> began to succeed a lot. So, um, that was the time of um, Leonardo da Vinci, Raffaello, Machiavelli, Michelangelo, and so on and so forth. So yeah, I'm gonna show you that, please. So guys, I'm gonna show you the building right now. Here we are. This is the Roca Roveresca, or the Roca de Senegalia. <laughs> the building is quite large, quite large. And um, it's actually said that inside the building is really complex because it was reconstructed a lot of times, like in those days. It was designed, yeah, by the best architects of that time. And um, Based on what I found on the internet, the Roca Reveres car was actually divided into two fortresses. Like this part here, yeah, just this part. Of you guys can see where this part here is a central body, and the uh, yeah, it was used as a residence for the nobles, those who had bags killed. While the other fortress was um, you know, this circular, this large circular pillar right here. And the other, they actually fall. Like this is the back of the building. This is the back of the building. Yeah, you can see the third one there. Then there's the fourth one at the other side. I'm gonna show you guys the front of the building in a while. Yeah, I'm actually going to the front of the building right now. That's my sister sitting over there. You know the front of the building. Oh, I don't miss my stuff. Yeah. The front of the building is directly opposite the train station. And this place is actually like it can actually be used as a realization center. I think was it last year? So I used to wait here for the bus. Whenever I was waiting, I would wait here. And when it was time, I'll go to the train station. So you guys can see the building. Yeah. And this, uh, you know, I talked about this large circular towers or pillars. Yes. These are the places where the military men used to stay and keep watch. Exactly. So I think I have to shift the back a little. Anyway, so yeah, we're gonna the front of the building. Front, front, front. Um, another thing, I read on the internet that um there was actually a courtyard. Yeah, there was actually a courtyard in the Roca Riveresca, but it was destroyed during an earthquake which happened. And the Roca Riveresca was once used as a prison <laughs> during the Papal Age, and later it was used as an hospital after the First World War. Come in. So, this, okay, this was the third pillar we could see.
Yay! So guys, this is the front. This is the front of the building. Come, I think I have to go. And that's the train station over there. Yep. So guys, you can see it's written the Stazione Senegalia. That's the train station. Why this is the front of the building? God, I will have to shoot the back. Why this is front of the building? So loud. So Sorry, guys. I actually saw someone which I knew. So I decided to see. I so okay. Still have to shoot the bag. So guys, this is the front of the building. So guys, now um, the Rock and Reveresca is kind of a museum. Although I've never gone in. Yeah, this is the Rock and Reveresca. Yep. <laughs> So I'm going around the building again because there's actually another place I want to show you guys which is the Palazzo del Duca. In English um, it's the Duke's Palace. Yes, I'm going to show you guys the Duke's Palace. Yeah, yeah. You guys can see it. <laughs> Just taking some pictures. Yeah, you guys can see it so well from here. So this is the Rocker of Areska. Okay, you know, pictures. <laughs> so, 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 so. So guys, this is the Duke's Palace. It's just um opposite the Rock of Reveresca, like opposite the back of the building. While at the front of the building, opposite is the train station. So yeah, this is the Palazzo del Duca, the Duke's Palace. And the only information I know about this palace is that um, after the death of the Duke. His niece Victoria was supposed to succeed him, but because she was female, she was prevented. Yeah, that's the only thing I know. And this fountain here is said to be a symbol of power. Yeah, <laughs> a symbol of power. I don't know what this building is used for now. I have no idea. I have no idea what it's used for. But there's also another place I want to show you guys. I just want to take some pictures first. I mean, you guys have to see this place at night. I mean, so splendid. God and the birds. Like, so beautiful. Or oh, during the Earthmass period. Guys, yeah, actually, you know, planned and showing you guys a lot of things. But my bus, the bus is gonna come soon, and I don't want to miss the bus. So that is all for today. Yeah, that is all for today. The Rock of Veresta. <laughs> so that is all for today. Do not forget. So today we are seeing the Rock of Veresta and um, Palazzo del Duca. So sorry, you know, I didn't really have a lot to say about the Palazzo del Duca because, you know, I wasn't really prepared to do a video. I was like, you know, like, why not? And it's been a while. So yeah. So right now, I'm going to the bus stop and I have to put on my mask. So finally, I really dislike putting on this mask 
I hope you guys can hear me though. Like, I'm not the only person who doesn't hear well with a mask. Although the mask isn't covering my ears, but I don't just hear well sometimes with a mask. So, this is um, actually an elementary school. So, guys, this is the elementary school here at Senegal. Here. And these are, you know, just some shops. No, you guys can't see me. See, I'm going to the place where I usually wait for the birds. It's actually a garden. Yeah, this is the front of the building. Yes, yeah, this is the bus. Bonjour. So guys, we've come to the end of this video. Yeah. Do not forget to like, drop a comment, subscribe and share with your friends. So see you next time, same channel, bye bye.